Hey guys, Toaster here. Today I got another review on an Atwood tool. This is the G2 Keton Roid Edition. Peter did a couple sales of these. He did one with uh, the plain version, which is stonewashed. Let's see if my camera can focus. There we go. has a very buttery smooth stone wash finish to it and then he did another limited sale with some stamped versions of the Royd Keton this one is one of my favorites it's the Harped Goddess beautiful stamp it's kind of sought after in that wood tool community also this one is um, the, what's it called, owl head. You see how it kind of looks like a, the head of an owl. Hopefully these are coming up good on my camera. See this one is the star or flower stamp, another one of my favorites. And then this one is a little different, I've never seen this one before. And actually asked Peter about it. He said this one he w he believed was the Ankh, spelled A N K H. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's also known as the Key of Life. He said it could also be the astrological symbol for Venus, but he said he thought it was the Ankh. So those are the stamped versions. This is the card they all come with. You guys want to go ahead and pause that and read the card. He does all of his sales on his blog, which is at woodknives.blogspot.com. Got to be quick to his sales. Um, I believe both of his sales for these Roared Ketons sold out within minutes couple minutes or so. Let me go ahead and do some size comparison for you guys. I'm going to go ahead and move these out of the way. And I'll go ahead and use this one. This is the one I've been carrying lately. It's my favorite. Here it is up against a G5 Pry Baby. Your everyday house key. And an old silver quarter. Just some thickness comparison for you guys too. I don't have a regular size keton on me, so I'm just gonna have to do it with my um, G5 Pry Baby. So there you see on the bottom right here is the Royd keton, and then on top is the G5 Pry Baby. And let's see what else. I also have a semi roid G5 semi roid pry baby right here. And then I actually have a full roid G5 pry baby. You can see that the full roid G5 pry baby is a little bit thicker, and this is actually not the thickest version that Peter released. There, there is a thicker one. This is how I've been carrying it lately. I have a sheath that was made by a pretty awesome dude. And just carry it in my pocket like that. So it's not too heavy on my key ring. So there you guys have it. The Peter Atwood G2 Keton Royd Edition. Stay tuned for more reviews, guys. Hopefully got some more awesome knife reviews and tools and gadgets and all sorts of cool things. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.